always have to dock in the cold gray drawer. Yeah, there ought to be a law making them stay out there after breakfast anyway. Don't worry, Barney. After the day, you'll be shooting that one-eyed monster of yours for Uncle Sam. Yeah, and you'll be seeing plenty of cold gray dawns then, brother. <laughs> you'll find out that the signal court is a lot of other things besides false signals. After 10 years in this racket, it'll be a vacation. <laughs> a simple soul, isn't he, boys? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Well, what do you think of that? Sounds fishy to me. You're Dr. Randall, no? Yes. You're here to meet Agatha Brewster, aren't you? Well, I... I... You're Carter of the Globe Tribune, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Say, there's a woman on that boat with the name of Agatha Brewster. Yeah? What about her? Ghost Carter. She's a sister of that uh, missing Dr. Brewster. Good story. A great story. A pip. Hey, what gives you? Yeah. Trying to sell you bootleg gas? Well, yeah, no, it's screwball, I guess. Yeah. That's her over there with the fur piece. I guess I'm awfully glad you're here. Come on, Bonnie. George, it's terrible. What happened? Miss Brewster? Yes. I'm from the Globe Tribune. Well? Miss Brewster's too upset over her brother to give an interview right now. Yes, some other time. Uh, oh, well, uh, may we have a picture? Go ahead, Barney. A pretty smile now. Smile? Oh, excuse me. Thanks. Now, about that interview, when may I see you? Oh, uh, some other day, the next week. Where? Miss Brewster will phone you. Oh, let her give you the brush off. It's a great story. Hey, what is this, anyway? If you'd only have listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. But well, what about the police? Haven't they been able to trace it? Fortunately, no. Fortunately? Yes, very fortunate. Agatha Jim isn't lost, except for this world. He's hidden away at Springdale in the old mansion. He'd be better off in the family cemetery plot. George. I'm sorry, but it's true. But what? Six months ago, we made an astounding discovery. It was so far in advance of anything that's been done to date that Jim decided to be the guinea pig for this experiment himself. I tried to talk him out of it, but you know how stubborn he is when he gets an idea in his head. We made the experiment, and unfortunately, it was a great success. So great in fact that we've been unable to counteract the results, and Jim... He's still alive, isn't he? Yes. And the story of his disappearance was a fake? Yes, I put that out to cover the whole affair up so that if the worst comes to the worst, it saves him a great deal of unpleasant notoriety. right. George, what does he mean? Prepare yourself for a great shock. I will.
when they brought her here. Stop shaking, Agatha. I will touch you. Oh, you poor boy. Open the door. Get back! You're coming with that ghost yarn. I couldn't get a thing out of her at the boat. Now I'm going through the morgue. Boy, is she a screwy dame. I don't want that junk. I want a personal interview. And get me some more pictures. Good one. Barney Smell. I'm sending someone down to replace him. Name's Billy Mason. Okay, Chiefy. Now hop to it. And don't call me Chiefy. Okay, Chiefy. Going into the army has sure done something to Barney. Looks more like a ghost than a ghost hunter to me. Now, just what could have happened to get such a piece of tripe? Well, it's out of focus. It's underexposed and overdeveloped. And besides, there are two pictures on the same negative. Is that all? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir? Take Miss Mason down to Carter. She's taking Barney's place. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Martin, for giving me the break. I'm sure I think... Ah, forget it. But remember, I'll be satisfied with just one picture on each negative. I'll do the very best I can. Carter? Billy Mason. Okay, sit down and take the load off your feet. I'll be with you in a minute. Went by when I wasn't looking. I see you know your perfume. I know that one. In fact, I'll never forget it. Or the first girl I met that used it either. Nice? Yeah, but she lied to me. So? She told me her boyfriend was in boot camp. Hey. Okay, Mason, let's go. Mason! I'm Billy Mason. Huh? I said I'm Billy Mason. I'm taking Barney's place, wherever he is. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, let's go.
where are we going, if I may ask? To Springdale, the old Brewster home. Went in to view a screwy old dame and get some pictures. Good pictures, I hope. Why the I hope? A good reporter generally gets an interview. Not worried about the interview. It's the pictures I'm worried about. Oh, I get it. Well, listen, Mr. Brisbane. You take care of your end of it and don't worry about mine. My pictures will be as good as your interview. And maybe a little bit better. Cocky little wench, aren't you? Well, I've had to hold my own against four brothers all my life. I guess I can handle a 4F like you. 4F? And what gives you the idea I'm in 4F? Well, I can't think of any other good reason you're not in uniform. Listen, baby, you're looking smack dab at a 14 carat 1A. No dependence, physically perfect, with a personal letter in his pocket from the president. 30 days from now, I'll be Jefferson B. Carter, Seaman, third class. Oh. Oh, yes. 30 days past September, April, June, and Jefferson B. Carter. Well, I'll take back the part of it about 4F. But the rest of it still stands. It makes me wish I was in the Navy right now. That makes two of us. All right, sailors, shove off. You know, I sit for hours and hours looking in the mirror, hoping and praying for the slightest sign on my future change. Then come. And I feel myself going back to the animal. in there with him, fearing that I might do something terrible. Oh, I can't stand it any longer. I can't stand it. And the must have me. Must do what I am asking him. What did you ask him to do, James, that he refused? I must have human spinal fluid. Sandra and I both agreed to it. It's the only way to counteract the eight fluid injection. But she won't do it. She won't do it. Please, James, please. I'll talk to George. I know he'll do anything to save you. I'll ask him. No, he won't. I plead it. He begs. James tells me he refused to help him any further. Did he tell you why? No. Then I'll tell you. I'd have to commit murder to do it. Murder? Yes, cold-blooded murder. You see this spinal fluid that might cure him. And there's a great possibility it would. It's just a chance, you know. That fluid must be taken from a living person. And the taking of it means instant death. the house matches the old girl with tea. What do you mean? She's a ghost hunter. Did you say ghost? Yeah. Ever see any? 
Don't be silly. She has. <laughs> no kidding. She's written books about him. She's been all over the world, poking around in cemeteries and haunted houses. She just got back from a cook tour of haunted castles in Europe. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Good job. Shut up! Stop that! You're on the shadow! Well, here's a chance for you to photograph a ghost. Very funny. Very funny. See who it is. It may allay any suspicions those screams aroused. Jim has probably seen who it is in the televisor. He won't give himself away. Hello. Remember me? From the boat? Get started? Oh, yeah. Uh, this is Billy Mason. I brought her along uh, to get some more pictures. The others were a lot, uh, they weren't good. Well, uh, I'm afraid it's too dark in here for pictures. Oh, no, it'll be perfectly okay. Oh, sure, it's okay. She makes pictures in tunnels. <laughs> All you? right. I'll be going, Miss Brewster. Just keep on with the prescription I gave you. Oh, oh I, I will, Doctor. Won't you come into the library? If you don't mind, Miss Brewster, I'd like to know a little more about your work, your books, etc. I think our readers would be interested. Oh, certainly. Won't you sit down? Thanks. Oh, Miss Brewster, you Father, you child? Oh, no. 
I just want to sleep all night, that's all. Suppose we get the picture before Miss Mason passes out, huh? Certainly. Now, listen, Miss Brucey, you stand right over here by the phonograph, and uh, you hold this record. Hold it like that. Beautiful. All right, honey, come on, come on. Get yourself together. Thanks very much, Miss Brucey. Oh, just a moment. One more. Seat it, please. Oh, yes. Do you mind? Well, we're going to sit down. I'll take the galloping goat. Now, you sit there and try and give me a pose like you were hunting for a goat. That's it. Get it. That was very kind of you, Miss Brewster. Uh, I'll send you a couple of those pictures. I bet you look great. Come on, honey, let's go. I'll uh, send you a copy of the article. I might want to check with you later. May I come out again? Uh, I guess so. Please phone me, sir. Oh, certainly, certainly. Thank you very much. Well, uh, goodbye. Hey, are you mad to come up here? What did Sandro say? You will not be a party to a murder. Hmm. Go, if you let me go through life like this. Galloping goes himself, but it. <laughs> if I felt all right, that wouldn't get the last out of me. All right, let's go. You got any gas? What a lot of hooey. <laughs> the galloping goes, huh? I don't know who she thinks she's kidding. Meaning what? Would that record sound like the noise we heard when we drove up? Come to think of it. No. Darn right. Well, there's something screw about the whole thing. I feel it in my bones. Maybe it's rheumatism. Yeah. No. The longest years of cooperation. You need to die like this. You won't get away with it. Oh, please, James, stop me. Oh, leave me alone. Get up, get upstairs. I love you, Oh. Get out, or... Oh, how much, James? Then... Are you completely insane? How did you get here? That's how I experimented thought the music. Are you wrong? No, my butler saw my around. Why did you take such a chance? I had to, George. I had to. I'm desperate. You must let me. Get me the road. Do you realize what you're asking me to do? Murder. Oh, call it what you like. Call it what you like. I 
must write the story. It's my life against somebody else's. And I don't want to live the rest of my life this way. And I won't. I'll... I'll... Yes? Someone from Street Headquarters to see you, sir. All right. Ask him to wait in the library. I'll be right back. Very good, sir. You suppose anybody saw you come in here? No, I'm sure not. Stay right here. Don't take a chance on leaving. Oh, the captain sent me over to get some more soap on that Rufus disappearance case. But I've already told him all I know. Well, there's a few things I'd like to check on. Very well. When the last time you saw Miss Thursday, is that right? Perhaps I could drop in tomorrow sometime and... Oh, there's just a few more things. Uh, where do I get this down? I guess that's all. Thanks a lot, Doc. Not at all. Oh, if you think of anything else in connection with Dr. Booster, let us know. Looks like we sure can use a lot of help on this one. All right, I will. Get me the book. Who was the nurse? No one but one of your men. Who was that? I don't know. I didn't get his name. Came about the Brewster case. When did you discover this? Right after he left. You mean this happened while the cop was in the house? Evidently. Townsend admitted it. Yeah. Where's Townsend now? Right there. How about it, huh? Strangulation. And by someone with terrific strength. There looks like a mark on his throat.
Say, isn't that the guy we saw at Brewster's? It does look like him, doesn't it? Yeah. Hit those pictures. Okay. What's happened to him? Just lost his butler by his strangulation. <laughs> Top to trying to pin it on an ape. Can you tie that? Here. Well, I see you got something on the film anyway. Now, listen, old man River. Uh-oh. Trying to pull a Barney, huh? What do you mean? Two pictures for the price of one again. Look at that. Where? Right there. Well, I never saw that before. What is it? How did it get there? It's like a gorilla to me. A gorilla? Yeah. Don't ever don't. Well, what heading does that come under? Trick photography? Is it a game? No, I didn't do it. If it's in the picture, it was there when I shot it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Maybe this is the galloping ghost from Glen Raven or whatever his name was in the flesh. Remember those sounds? Yeah. Is that the way a gorilla sounds? I'm not much of a tar there, but could be. So, the butler of the guy we saw there was murdered by an ape. I wonder. What are you going to do? Try to sell the boss a bill of goods. Do you want me to go? No, no, honey, you stay right there. Say, maybe you're my lucky number. Fluid. Did you know you've got it? Yeah, that's why I expected him. He said he wouldn't. He did. I did. He is going to make the injection. If he refuses, I kill him. Yes. I mean just what I said. to the police to save you yesterday and made myself almost as guilty as you are. But I won't incriminate myself any further. I'm through. Oh, no, you're not. Threats will do you no good. If necessary, I'll go to the police and tell them the whole story. You'll do as James says. Go on, hurry. Ready, doctor?
Yes, that old festival and paper man again, Miss Brucey. I thought you said you'd phone before coming back. I, I, I did. But, but uh, your phone seemed to be always busy. Or uh, out of order, maybe. Have you tried your phone lately? It could be, you know. Oh, those things get out of order. Funny thing, I know a fellow that had a telephone that was always out of order. <laughs> well, uh, <clears throat> shall we uh, go in with the galloping goats? Much time to go with my house, Mr. Carter. Oh, I'm not here in that post business. No? No. I bought the same in that story for a Sunday edition. But uh, he does want me to work on your brother's case. Has the police got anything definite to report? No, he's completely disappeared. I can understand it myself. It's dreadful. Yeah, suppose work had anything to do with it? A uh, nervous breakdown or amnesia? Anything like that? I don't know. I was in Europe, as you know. I haven't seen him in over a year. But his work was difficult, wasn't it? Seems to me I heard something about his terrific experiment. Yes, he has a very scientific mind. Eh, just like my uncle. <laughs> his house was always full of guinea pigs and rats, even monkeys. Big ones, too. <laughs> Scared the daylights out of my aunt. So? Yeah, one day she just up and left them. And I don't blame her. Just imagine that door right now and coming face to face with a gorilla. Oh, but I suppose you're used to that sort of thing. I understand that your brother did a lot of work on gorillas and apes, didn't he? I wouldn't know. He never discussed those things with me. Well, I guess you can't be any help to me. I'll uh, just have to dig up what I can for myself. Thanks. Oh, by the way, uh, Miss Brewster, did your brother have a laboratory here in the house where he worked? Not that I know of. Okay, I thought maybe I'd find something there that might give me a lead. Well, thanks, and goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Carter. A very clever young man, that. Yes, I heard. Do you think the fluid will cure James completely? I don't know. But it's useless for him to look to me for any more help. I warn you, I'll go to the police first. Enough. Wasn't enough. Well, 
isn't enough. I need more. committed in this precinct, and not one single suspect brought in. Where's that put us? Right on the spot. They all look like they were committed by the same person, Captain. Outside of that, we haven't got a single thing to go on. Uh, thing, Captain. I suppose you expect the killer to come in and give himself up, huh? <laughs> now listen. Get out and get that guy. Or I'll transfer you to fire back in the sticks. The bears will be chasing up the trees. Come on now, get out. Get out. Comfortable? Well, hello, stranger. Where have you been all week? I thought your draft board had caught up with you. I've been parked in the bushes outside the Brewster home so long, I nearly took root. Waiting for the galloping ghosts to go by? No, I've got a hunch there's something truer than ghosts in that joint. Well, why didn't you let me in on it? Because if my hunch is correct, there's no place for a bait in the woods like you. Oh, by the way, if you need any more bobby pins, you'll find mine in the second drawer. <laughs> Thanks. Absolutely no. And don't call me again. The police have been here several times this week. They may trace the call. Well, what did you say? How soon will he be here? He's not coming. That's what he said. He must. Who's he already? He won't keep. Oh, tell him that, quick. It won't do any good. He won't do it. He won't do it, huh? All right. Yeah. It doesn't matter. James, what are you going to do? He won't come here. I'm going to him. But you mustn't. The police are watching him. I don't care. I'm going. Yeah. We 
expecting someone else? No. No, I thought he was, uh, come here. Mm-hmm. A little touch up on the hair, a new pair of lips, and you're as good as new. Where are you going? Back to my listening post. Roosters? Uh-huh. Can I go with you? Uh-uh. Well, why not? No place for little girls. There's too many snakes, frogs, and lizards. Big ones. Big as alligators. And besides, if I have to run, I don't want to wait for you. Oh, uh, don't wait up for me. Let's go. Now I've got a hunch he's expecting somebody. Let's wait around and see. I could kill you before they got here, so be careful. It's here, George. Plenty of it. Look, it's enough for half a dozen injections. Back broken. Oh, oh. Who's going to what?
Careful, baby. Give me the plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurry up, hurry up. Who came to Randall to warn him about someone? Now, who was it? You know, I want you over my knee and paddle you good. Don't be a chump. Hey, what are you doing in my car? Who are you anyway? Me? Oh, I'm the author of the story. Screwy idea, wasn't it? 